What's up YouTube, I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I am excited to announce that we have started a brand new channel called At Tier List Official. So make sure you guys head over there and subscribe. You can see all of your favorite hosts and the content is just a lot of fun. As for today, hang out with me until the end of the video and I will respond to some of your comments. Today we are jumping into some scarier stuff. It's not easy to pull off a vanishing act when you're a celebrity in the spotlight. Just imagine how impossible it would be for someone like Justin and Bieber to vanish without a trace. It just seems impossible. But sometimes the impossible happens. Over the years, there have been a handful of real celebrities who have vanished and still have not been found. Let's get started with today's list of top 10 scary times celebrities disappeared. the list at number 10 is Bison Deli. Before he changed his name though, he was Brian Williams, a 6 foot 11 man who played in the NBA. He was famously known for his skill and for being a little bit unusual. But people were shocked when he ditched his 36 million dollar contract and the United States at age 30 to go fire off bazookas in the desert for fun. Like legit, that's what he did. He moved to Lebanon and reported that's what he did and he went on an epic journey through Asia. A Sports Illustrated profile details that while he was on his travels, he became a beat poet, writing verses inspired by William Blake. He stayed out of the US for years and caused a bunch of chaos in Australia where he learned how to sail and bought himself a boat named Hakuna Matata. He told friends and family that he was going to sail from Tahiti to Hawaii. On July 7, 2002, the former NBA player set sail with his girlfriend, the ship's captain, and his older brother. However, they never made it back to Hawaii. Bison Deli, his girlfriend, and the captain vanished at sea. The only survivor was his brother. Two months later, his older brother was arrested in Phoenix when he was trying to buy gold with one of his vanished brother's paychecks. He was released on bail but later committed suicide without any explanation as to why. Sources were suspecting him of murdering the other boatmates, including his brother, saying that he has always been a violent guy who envied his brother's success. The bodies have still not been found. At number 9 is Sean Flynn, the actor who lived in the shadow of his father Errol Flynn, who happened to have success that made Hollywood history. The young actor Sean was trying to follow in his father's footsteps and become a success as well. But his films weren't much of a success and it was actually his work as a photographer when he was assigned to cover America's deadly wars in Indochina. The dangerous assignment is what brought him fame but it also led him to his death. On April 6, in 1970, the former actor and another journalist, Dana Stone, disappeared without a trace after encountering a hostile checkpoint. The two of them never returned and no trace of them was ever found. Back in 2010, there was a body found and forensic thought that it was him, but it turned out to be a false identification. Since then, the case is back to square one without a trace. Sliding to the number eight spot is Jim Thompson. He is the most famous and most significant American to have ever lived in Thailand. He was a former agent in the office for strategic services, basically like the CIA. But then he moved to Thailand at the end of the World War II, where he set up a silk business, turning Thai silk into a global commodity. He was known as a socialite, throwing huge parties for Bangkok's rich civilians. The wealthy influencer left Bangkok in 1967 to go on a hiking trip in Malaysia. He stayed at a bungalow and one day he went for a walk and never came back. An article in Paris Review explains just how fishy his disappearance actually was. Jim Thompson was a soldier back in the day with lots of field experience and survival skills in the wilderness. He was also a big guy which led people to believe if an animal got him, there would be a trace of leftovers. The problem was he had a lot of enemies because of his business and success. No trace of him was ever found and his Bangkok home is now a museum for the Thai capital. Tons of tourists visit it and call it one of the top choices to go and see. Our most amazing top 10 host Rebecca has actually gone to it before and said that it was a very cool experience. Taking the number 7 spot is Patrick McDermott, an American cameraman who is more famously known for his relationship to Olivia Newton-John than anything he did himself. The two of them had an on and off relationship for years and McDermott made headlines in 2005 when he disappeared from a fishing boat off the coast of Los Angeles. He wasn't reported missing until a week after he disappeared from the boat and the 20 other passengers were all giving reports that conflicted with each other. In 2008, it was declared that he most likely drowned, but then rumors began to fly saying that he faked his own death to cash in on a life insurance plan and was actually alive and living in Mexico. He showed up in America's Most Wanted and Dateline NBC ran an undercover special trying to track him down. In 2017, a photograph made headlines claiming that Patrick 
had been spotted in Mexico with his German girlfriend. They claimed that it was a 90% match, but turns out it was really just a Canadian pub owner who just looks like him. The Canadian West Stove says he saw the picture of him and his wife and thought it was bizarre, so he had to call in and settle the story. The two of them said, and I quote, I guess it's kind of exotic to be seen as a German lover. We got a pretty good laugh out of it anyways. So Patrick McDermott is still missing and the case remains unsolved. In at number 6 is Scott Smith, the musician who was a founder of the Canadian rock group called Loverboy. The band was one of the biggest rock bands of the early 80s, with hits like Hot Girls in Love and Working for the Weekend, which is still played on the radio stations all over the world every Friday afternoon. Scott Smith was one of the group founders who stuck with them throughout all the years until his mysterious and frightening disappearance at sea on November 30th, 2000. Him and his band played together at the Benefit for the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation in Vancouver, BC, and afterwards, him, his girlfriend, and two friends set out for Mexico on a 37 foot sailboat. As they sailed down the coast around San Francisco, the weather got rough and apparently it threw Smith off the boat. His friend and travel companion Bill Ellis told the Ottawa Citizen that they think a 20 foot wave knocked him off. He said, We turned back around but couldn't find any of the debris or cushions or the man overboard pole. Coast Guard helicopters arrived within 20 minutes and dispatched two search boats but found nothing. Smith's family continued to pay for a private search company but his remains have never surfaced. Halfway through at number 5 is Lord Lucan, who was famously known in London for being a part of the wealthy aristocracy and was a gambler in the social scene. However, one thing he's also famous for is murdering the wrong person. You know when you mistake a stranger for someone you know? Well, he basically did that except a thousand times more extreme. In 1974, he brutally murdered his wife Veronica in her home in London. He hated her because they got divorced and she won custody of their kids. However, Veronica was in a dark room and she actually murdered Sandra Rivet, his children's beloved nanny. The case was a media sensation in Britain and after the murder happened, Lucan vanished and was never found. He wasn't even declared as dead until 1999 and his son wasn't allowed to inherit his title until 2016. Many rumors have gone around about what actually happened to him. Some say he drowned himself in the New Haven Harbor while others say he is hiding in Africa. He has never been found, it's like he literally disappeared into thin air. Taking over the number 4 spot is Oscar Zeta Acosta, an American attorney, politician, novelist, and activist in the Chicano movement. He was also known for how he relentlessly consumed pills, booze, and other drugs. His close friend and American author, Hunter S. Thompson, says he took everything in titanic quantities. Titanic quantities that even he couldn't keep up, which says a lot. It was in May 1974 where he visited his ancestral home of Mexico and then vanished. The LA Times reports that his buddy Hunter spent years on and off searching for his friend. With nothing to be found, he later claimed that Acosta was probably killed in a drug hit or a political assassination. No body was ever found and the evidence shows that it's like he just disappeared into the night. Hunter went on to write a documentary called Dr. Gonzo, which captures the politician's wild ride of life. Alright guys, at number 3 is Richie Edwards, the celebrated Welsh musician who was the lyricist and guitarist for the band The Manic Street Preachers. He made a name for himself in 1991 when he was asked about his commitment to punk music. Music. In front of the interviewer, he grabbed a razor blade and carved the words for real into his arm. The injury took 18 stitches to patch up. People close to him have reported that he often spoke about depression and self harm, but often said suicide was never an option for him. So when he went missing on February 1st, 1995, people thought suicide right away. His car was found near the Severn Bridge, which is also a popular and known location for suicide. However, over the next few weeks after he went missing, there were reports reported sightings of him in various places, but he was actually never found. His missing persons case was left open by his family for 13 years until November of 2008 when he was declared presumed dead. In spot number 2 is Joe Pitchler, an American former child actor who has been missing since January 5th, 2006. The young actor vanished one day and was never to be heard from again. His roles were made up of a variety of commercials and his recurring role as Brennan Newton on the third and fourth movie in the Beethoven film series. His last film experience Experience was in Children on Their Birthdays, which came out back in 2002. The following year, he returned to his hometown with his family and then graduated from high school in 2005. It was in 2006 that Joe returned to LA again to continue his acting career. At the time of his disappearance, he was living out on his own and was working a full time job as a telephone technician at Teletech. In the night of his disappearance, he was last heard from at 
before 15 a.m. when he talked to a friend on his cell phone, and then he was never heard from again. It was reported that he was last seen playing cards with some friends and was in good spirits. Four days later, his vehicle was found behind a restaurant which had all of his belongings in it besides his keys and wallet. When searching his apartment, it was found unlocked with all the lights on. His case is still a mystery to this day. Taking our number one spot is Rico Harris. If you've heard of him, it's probably because his disappearance became huge headlines when he vanished back in 2014. He disappeared somewhere along State Route 16 near Sacramento. The manhunt blew up in the media and it was because Rico used to be a somebody. He made a name for himself in the sports industry. In 2000, Harris played basketball for the Harlem Globetrotters, a team which is very famously known if you're an intense sports fan. Before joining the team, he was one of the top 100 college basketball recruits. Unfortunately, drinking kept him from reaching his potential basketball success, and he ended up working as a security guard in LA instead. He reached his all time low when he was fired from that job for being drunk. It was that day that he left his mom's LA home to drive to Seattle to stay with his girlfriend. His car was later found abandoned outside of Sacramento. The strange details were explained in 2017 by the LA Times, saying that a backpack and a phone, which had a video of him on it, were found on the roadside, but police found nothing else. Days after he vanished, people were phoning in saying they kept seeing a giant person walking alongside State Route 16. Human footprints were found in the sand, but no Harris. Alright guys, there's our scary list for today. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. For now, let's check out some comments from my last video. Martin Western says, I love your videos and enjoy your enthusiasm and energy. Thank you so much. That is so nice. The Last Dragon Burn says, High School Musical is the worst film series ever. Just when I thought that we could be friends. Maria Janine Herrera says, Don't know why, but why is it that Rotten Tomatoes are more important now than 10 years ago? I have no idea. It's like the number one rating site right now. I guess I just always thought that it was this popular. I have no idea. Claire Platt says, Shia LaBeoufoon didn't turn down the money though. Shia LaBeoufoon. That is the first time I've heard that one. That is clever. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. Don't forget to subscribe and find us on our social media. The links are down below. I'm your host, Joss, and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,